and gals, what's happening, everybody? Welcome back to the Iron Man Challenge. This is... Well met. Iron Woman. This is, excuse me, our Night Elf Hunter. We're on the Skull Rock server. Hardcore. You might be wondering what I'm doing here. We're taking a big, big risk what this episode. What you here? And I'm still contemplating... We're going to be running through the wetlands. It's level 20 to 30 via the Menethil Harbor. We are three levels under the minimum level requirement you're supposed to have to get in there. How you doing, dude? I can't have that, but uh, thank you. Let me go up here and get rid of it. Um, I want to get into Loch Madan. There are so many quests we can do there. That opens up. Dunmoreau, which opens up Ironforge, which opens up Stormwind. And we're just kind of running out of stuff to do here. Uh, as you can see, my quests are orange. They're just too damn risky. I've got a couple of things here. This is really the only yellow quest we have, and this is underwater, and I am not comfortable really doing it. So am I more comfortable running through the wetlands? No. But... We do have the pet, and I can use the pet as a tank. And hopefully, this is the best case scenario. We get attacked. Well, the best case scenario is we don't get attacked at all. We just somehow make it through the wetlands, through the tunnels into Loch Madon. Another scenario is we get attacked. I use the pet. He taunts it. We run out of range. The pet despawns. I call the pet back. Worst case scenario is obviously we die. This is a permadeath challenge. So what could also happen is we could get two mobs, right? We could get one mob. I sick the pet on it. As I'm running away, we pull another mob onto us. It's It could very well happen. We could die today. This is the Iron Man challenge, and you could find the complete rule set in the first episode, but I'll go over them really quickly. Uh, first and foremost, it's permadeath. If I die, I have to delete my character. We can have no gear above white quality gear, and we don't have any. By the way, we did win the uh, the bid that we put in on the shoulders. They were very cheap. It's But as you can see, all of our gear is either white or gray. That's all we're ever going to have. We cannot use health pots. We can't use potions, scrolls. Oh, uh, Tara, the absolute legend, pointed out to me, I'm using how many pieces? I have three pieces of gear that I have to get rid of. These, the pants, and it's a lot of armor I just lost. The reason I have to get rid of this, hello there. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention, and they have armor enchants on them. I mean, I, I wasn't thinking about it. Tara, if you're watching, thank you very much for pointing that out. I'm not going to call it a fail, uh, but I'm going to do my best to not do that anymore. I just I wasn't really thinking about it. So we're not going to be able to see any quests here. This guy looks exactly like Captain Grayson out in Westfall, but... Uh, we're not here to see quests. We're here to get this flight point. I can't believe I'm going to do this. Now, we have no pants on. And I need some clickbait. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> clickbait has been had. Tara, thank you very much. Um, God, I'm tempted... To buy something from a vendor. This, this guy's probably not the armorer we need. Great to meet you. Yeah, he's not. See you soon. All right, uh, let's do this. I guess we need the pet. Got my macro. Let's feed him. Oh, I must have changed. Um, yeah, I did change this. This needs to be the bristle whisker catfish. 
need to save that. And I need to check this. Okay, everything appears to be fine. Okay, man, I hope we don't die. It's a good chance we're going to. Uh, yeah, thank you again, Tara, for pointing that out. And by the way, we're dating. <laughs> I made that joke last time. She's probably unsubscribed. <laughs> Am I joking? Oh, my God, dude. We are going to be seen from so far away here. Now, I know where most of the most dangerous places are this kind of this early part. At least this is not a skull right here. That does make a difference. Also, I have scare beast. I just realized that. I'm going to stay zoomed out here. So this bridge, it, it's notorious for being attacked on this bridge. And then there's a little stretch up here where we have to mine the left side of the road and but not be too close to the right side of the road because there are orcs. Now, the the gauntlet through the tunnels that leads into Lachmadon, that's also going to be challenging because there are orcs there. And I think those are going to be yellow and orange mobs as well. I'm just scanning. I'm tab targeting like a fiend here. There's a croc that's usually will come get you. He ha he actually can hang out like right in here, and I'm not actually seeing it. I gotta go now. I'm wasting time here. I don't see it. Maybe he's been killed and skinned. All right, that was our first little challenge right there. Got Murlocs to the left. Okay. Level 24. They will see us a, a, a long way away here. If you're wondering what that... I don't know if you heard the chicken noise. <laughs> it's my phone. I have it set. My landlord has chicken, so I have a, a chicken that... It's like a rooster. Fuck, man. I'm so fucking nervous. He's coming up. If I make it to level 20, we're going to have Aspect of the Cheetah. That's going to help a little bit. Because I can potentially wing clip or do the Scare Beast. Now, the thing about Scare Beast, it can work against you. You can Scare Beast, and it can actually run in the direction you need to be running, which <laughs> it's not good, right? What did I just... Okay, I hit the cat there. One moment. Okay, I'm so sorry. God, this is I've such so many fucking chances <laughs> taken right here. Okay. Rock over here. It's safe right in here. There's a croc close as hell to the road. Yeah, this is a lot of people come through here these mobs are skulls so we're this is pretty good this decreases the range at which they will see us by quite a bit because if you don't know uh, the higher a mob is I mean I'm sure there's a cutoff point but 
you know, mobs are either gray to you, green, yellow, orange, red, or skulls. Now, that's what you have to worry about when they're red, but especially if they're skulls. They'll see you from so far away. These are going to be skulls. That's because these are at least level 28s up there. But there is a cutoff. This is where I've got to be careful. This is where you see a lot of bodies generally. People making this run. And it usually doesn't matter if you're just doing a, you know, if you're not doing a hardcore Let's Play, you just take the deaths and you rest at the graveyard and you keep going. We can't do that. It's actually looking pretty good in here. Especially with uh, no pants on. I mean, I'm wearing pants, but uh, Iron Woman is not wearing pants. She hates pants. Thank you, Tara. I mean, you don't know. You guys don't know. I might not be wearing pants. Who knows? I could be sitting here, uh, sitting here in my sexy thong. <laughs> Yeah, I would not be sitting here in a thong in my nice chair, I'm going to tell you that. <laughs> okay, this isn't too bad. There's This is a risky spot here as well. And then it's just the spiders up here on the right. Oh, oh fuck! Oh my god. I forgot about that, these guys. Okay, we should be okay. We should be able to get to the tunnel. And then I've got to worry about the orcs. But I, like I said, I th think the orcs might be our level. We actually might be able to fight them, like, one by one and work our way through. Landlord's going out of town today until Saturday. And I'm gonna I'm installing something in the driveway. It's a driveway ramp. I'm gonna use a concrete drill and lock it into place. It keeps her car from scraping when she pulls in and out. I'm just checking in with her, letting her know, taking care of the chickens, blah blah blah. But oh boy. Okay, so this isn't horrible. I mean, this it's not good, but that's not horrible. That level. This is it. This is really it. I think we're home free, at least until the tunnel. It was raining and snowing last night. I guess you call that sleeting. A spider here and a croc there. This is... I think this is the last little dangerous part, and this is good. This croc is pissing off that way. Spider here. Yeah, I don't... It's freezing cold, too. I don't really want to be out there in the sleet doing it. I'm going to... Hopefully, it's going to warm up a little bit. And I'll get it done today or tomorrow. It's too much. We did it. I think we're going to be okay from this point. Now, one thing I need to do is uh, get that gear that we uh, deleted. Uh, we need gloves, the pants, 
and the feet and the hands. Yeah, that's gloves or hands, sure. All right, I'm feeling pretty good. That was fucking risky. So the Dragon Malls will be at the end of this tunnel. Just a little short run. And then we are definitely home free. Lock Madon, we're fine. And we can go into Dunmoreau. We would do any available quests we can find. I might even do gray quests because I want to succeed. The Iron Man challenge is something I've never done. I I did finally get a a level 60 character a, a character to 60 on the hardcore server on this same server. That was our troll hunter. Old Beard Fist. But I've never completed this challenge. It's one of the hardest challenges you can do. Okay, so this is not too terrible. But I gotta be careful here. We're gonna take this guy here. We're gonna pin him. Well, he's not a boar, but we're gonna fight him here. Let him get two taunts here. They'll run off, so I gotta make sure I get the serpent sting. Perfect. Hold on. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, thank you. Well. <laughs> yeah, thank you for the underwater breathing buff. It's fucking incredible. <laughs> we made it. I, we made it. That was a big uh, risk that we took there. But we are home free. That's it right there. Well, the cat got the underwater breathing, too. If you got buffs, give them away. I do the same thing if I'm a warlock. Now, if you're a warlock, I'm usually being silly if I give somebody the underwater buff. But every once in a while, you're the warlock, and you're around water, and there's a water quest, and you give somebody the underwater breathing. The best case, and this has happened to me a few times on warlocks, is I've been underwater, and somebody else is underwater, doing an underwater quest, and you put the underwater breathing on them pretty big in classic because as you know in classic your breath lasts i don't know 15 seconds maybe top something like that i'm so happy that we made this <laughs> i was real worried we weren't going to do it also i need to change this there's too many buttons here what bar is that it's bar two, so we can get rid of... Just take that down to Funky Town. And we slide that on over. This is kind of my panic button right there. 
because I'm not good with keybinds. I've gotten better, but I don't want to take a chance of fat fingering something. We made it, man. We made it. Let's check in with this dude. What can I do for you? Um, you can have the pur furry paw. That bandage. I'm going to try to auction these again. Watch your back. Oh, man. It feels so good. There should be a couple of quests we can do here. So we, we're not going to get credit for, you know, most of the quests. But you still get XP for turning in the quest. So might see some boring episodes. Not very exciting, but, you know. I have the finest words in the land. We got to do what we have to do. This is a slow grind. Oh, I can actually see this. How are you? Pretty good. Give me Be both good. of these. Oh. Off with you. I'm off with you. Stormpike's orders. Oh, good. We can do this. Stormwind, we're going there. This is perfect. It's actually yellow, too. All right, let's go uh, check in to... Um, the hell's the place called? Whatever it's called up here. Get the flight point. We can make a run through Dunmoreau, or we can uh, try to level up. Uh, also, I forgot to mention about the Iron Man challenge. Another big one, aside from permadeath, the gear restriction, you cannot pick any talent points. No, we cannot. That's a pretty big one. What we can do is pick, uh, or not pick, we can go see our class trainer every even level to, you know, have like the upgraded ranks of our abilities. Don't judge me. You know how single I am? Do we get XP for this? Like some easy XP here? No. We get that, and then... We actually will get something in the mail. Um... They send you, like, fireworks or the lunar things like he's rocking. You can put, like, a shaft of light on you or something. I don't know. All right. Good. Let's see what we can do here. There's a quest up here. That quest I don't think is doable. Yeah, I can't see it. She has the... The what you call it. So where do I want my hearthstone? I don't think I want it here. Well, yeah. Hi. Off with you. Well, let's go do minor gear, I guess. This quest, I think, is a elite quest. Which we're not doing. You got my attention. Yeah. Safe travels. Let's go check in here. We could either do that. What I probably should really do is just make the runs into Iron Forge. So that we can take the tram, get both those flight points, and then I can fly freely between the two. Hello. We'll do that. Be good. Yeah, we can do that. Do I want to do it? It's a little bit dangerous. The Miner's Gear quest, it's in a cave. It's yellow, which I did not expect. The level range, oh, it's 10 to 20. So, yeah. Let's do it. We'll do the quest, get some XP. We've got a decent amount of rested.
We're going to come in from this side, from the other side. We'll come in from the west. Like a waskawee wabbit. Da -da 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 -da. I'm so happy we made it. I felt like I had a, I don't know, like a one in five chance of making it. I didn't think it, our odds were very good. But I was weighing the quests we had, and I knew the level range of wetlands, orange, red skulls. <laughs> we had the one yellow underwater quest. So... Decided, well, we, I mean, we could easily just die on the quest, or I could try to get to a place where um, we might have some green quests. Okay. Just watch the spider come at me. What's What's happening here? Why couldn't I put Hunter's Mark on this mob? Okay, I caught... I need to... I don't want to stand here. I'm going to go out to the road, and I need to do a quick cutscene. But, what, hold on. Why is it... Why wasn't my hunter's mark working? Oh! Right. Okay, I do this a lot. Because it, if you have a general macro and you have it set on your bar, it's going to work that way across all characters. So what you have to do is make uh, a new mac, a specific macro. Because it was trying to use rank two, and I don't have rank two. So we need to do new. And I'm just going to call it go is what I usually make it. We'll paste this, and I just get rid of the rank 2, and that should work. Then I have to change that to there. Nothing to attack. Now it works. All right, let me do a, a quick little cut scene here. I have to respond to an email. I'll be right back with you. One, two, skiddly diddly do. All righty. Sorry about that. I know for you is instantaneous. Let's go see if we can get some miner's gear. And let me do a quick check on my... Okay, it's working. Gotta be honest, I might grab myself a boar when we get into Westfall. We'll find boars there that are... I'll try to get one my level. We almost died taming this pet because it was our level, and I think I had 26 health left. <laughs> Before I tame a pet, I mean, unless it's several levels below me, um, I'm, I need armor. I'm going to pull him a little bit closer. He's too close to his friends.
Um, might be worth it for me to do some melee, especially on these mobs, because my skill, it's pretty lacking. We're way behind here, and I want to be able to hit my wing clip. We level for some of these. I, I don't want to pull this camp. It would not be good. So we have this mob. There's also a mob that patrols here. And there's a mob that's going to be patrolling here. I just need to be careful. Here comes the patrol. Mark him up. So one thing I like about the boar is I could... When I sick the boar, he just immediately pins the mob right where I need it. I'm going to do some stabbing here. Green clip. Let's take this guy first. I can pull this one, but it's not that big of a deal. Put your fire shield up. Sure. Get this guy out of the way. Yeah, at least we're getting credit for these. No miner's gear. I did see a night elf coming back into Loch Madon. I wonder if she came through here. Um, and picked some of this stuff up. Perhaps. It hasn't respawned yet. Gotta say, I'm uh, really enjoying our outfit. <laughs> That's because I'm a man. Okay. You mean a perv? I'm not a perv. I appreciate the female body. I appreciate male bodies. I appreciate nice bodies. Okay. Just got a blunderbuss there. It's not better. That was the other uh, patrol. There are two patrols in this cave. Here's some miner's gear. Don't look at me. And if you notice, the miner's gear is basically a six-slot bag. They didn't even... Blizzard... They didn't change many of the icons. They reuse a lot of stuff. That's why I need to keep on top of my dagger skill so I don't miss that. In this challenge, especially, Wing Clip could literally save us. It saved me many times on a Hunter. It at least gotten me out of some bad situations. So we're going to have two mobs here. I think we will. Let me get fully manned up here. It's not that big of a deal. We're, we can burn them down. It is possible to pull these mobs on the top, and that would be very bad. I just got a green BOE shadow wand right there. We are allowed to use the auction house to sell. Or buy, like white gear. All right, we're out of here. That's all we had to do. Get out of the cave. Caves are not good. No, 
I wonder why I didn't get the quest to just straight up slay the kobolds. Uh, well, because I didn't pick it up. I know where it is. It's um, it's probably reading as like a level 11 quest. We don't get uh, credit for level 11, so it doesn't show. We're not using questy, by the way. That's another uh, rule. I'm allowing add-ons that just kind of clean up the interface and stuff. I'm, I'm not allowing uh, what I call hand-holding uh, add-ons, which is like rested XP guides is probably the biggest hand-holding add-on there is. Questy is uh, Questy's like that as well. What am I doing? I turn it in here. This gets turned in back here. Yeah, we'll see if we can get us a, a pet. Somebody pointed out to me something that I've never thought about before, and I feel kind of stupid now that I'm thinking about it, but... I've played a lot of hunters and usually what I have found to be more, it's more often the case than not. And I think this has to do with the level pet that I tame. So what usually happens, my pet is usually always a level behind me until I get between three and four bars away from the next level. And then he levels up. So for three, four, five bars, we're the same level. It's kind of always been that way. Lately, well, Season of Discovery, and here in Classic, I've noticed that my pet is leveling up the opposite way. He's been leveling three or four bars in. And somebody pointed out, just stated the obvious, he goes, well, it's probably because you've tamed, you've tamed a pet Talk to me. that's Watch your level. Your <laughs> and not like a level below. That makes perfect sense. Um, we can't use green gear, so we're going to sell the thing that sells for the most, which is the shield. Very good. And we'll sell it to this freak. What can I get for you today? You can have that. Let's see if we can sell the BOE. And we're going to be selling that. Off with you. Because we can't use health pots. Is the music... Did the music... Uh... Oh, I never turned it down, I guess. It's been a little bit loud all day. Or well, the whole episode. Some zones, it doesn't really... It's not that bad, being on 10%. But most zones, it is. If you're in Stormwind or Ironforge, 10% is just too effing loud. Yeah, we know. You only talk about it every single episode. Sorry. What's going on here? Why isn't... Uh... Restart the phone. We can go down this way and pick up in defense of the king's lands. Those should be decent quests. And even if the intro quest is gray, we get... I think there's three uh, quests you do for the three different types of mobs. Hello, Moto. My name's not Moto. You freak of a phone. I don't know what's happening. My shit's not sending, man. Okay. Um, let's see. Can I remember where these quests are? I mean, we have the... Um, 
the blood sausages quest. It's this guy, Cadrill. Yeah, I should have picked this up. Because we do get credit for the 12s. What's on your mind? Rat catching. Safe travels. And look at this. We actually need the boots. <laughs> Keep your feet on the ground. But we're gonna we're gonna call this an episode. Now off camera, I might run down through here through the pass. There's no chance of us dying. Uh, just to get the flight point in Iron Forge. But I don't know. This is a permadeath challenge. I don't like to do too much of that. So maybe next episode we'll just we'll run up there. Uh, we'll run out that way. But that's going to do it for this one. Thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate it. You guys and gals take care. Iron Woman and myself will catch you in tomorrow's episode. Till we meet again. Peace. <laughs>